Vancouver Island. It's where I live and where I may be free and happy. <laughs> All right, here's a satellite map of Vancouver Island. A rather big place from all the way from Victoria to Port Hardy up in the north and lots of parks on the west side and elsewhere. Uh, this map you can get at a store in downtown Nanaimo by the waterfront from Nanaimo to Newfoundland and it's nine dollars so pretty good deal. So I people really love Vancouver Island I tend to give them this gift and it has all the towns and cities and a, a lot of the big mountains and it has most of the lakes and rivers. All right quickly I'm going to give you some reading recommendations for the island. Uh, there's lots of really good Vancouver Island books out there, but I'm going to choose four. And the first two are to do with something, they actually tell you a lot about history, but through ghosts and hauntings. The first book is called The Haunting of Vancouver Island. Supernatural Encounters with the Other Side by Shannon Sin. There we go. Highly recommend this book. All the chapters are pretty short. They're usually about an incident, involves a ghost story, haunting, but there's a lot of history involved and it goes from indigenous times to recent, to the 20th century, not the 21st though. And I highly recommend this book. It's a great read. There's a good old ISBN, but I'm sure you can find it. The Haunting of Vancouver Island. That's book number one. Book number two, More Ghosts and Haunting. Hey, why not? Because especially in Victoria, uh, you can find some videos on YouTube as well talking about this. There are lots of fabulous ghost stories. Are they true? Mm, I don't know. But the second book is Victoria's Most Haunted, Ghost Stories from BC's Historic Capital City by Ian Gibbs. There you go. Again. So, of course, Craig Doric Castle supposedly has ghosts that used to be owned by the Dunsmere family. Uh, I've been there. Beautiful place. And here's the ISBN. Though it's probably opposite on the video, but you can figure it out. I'm sure you're smart enough to do that. And lastly, two books that uh, deal with unique characters on the island. Historically, there's been lots of very fascinating people uh, on the island, such as uh, Cougar Lady. The first book is Amazing Stories on Their Terms, True Stories of Trailblazing. So unique, uh, outside the box, uh, the first to do it, Woman of Vancouver Island by Haley Healy. This is it. So again, like the ghost books, lots of short chapters about different people, very easy to read and get through. You don't have to read it in order. And the publisher is Heritage House. They do quite a few books on Vancouver Island. So again, on their own terms. Oh, there's the author. And there's a part two. Amazing stories, flourishing and free. More stories of trailblazing woman of Vancouver Island by Haley Healy. Okay, so yet again, another great book about fascinating people, in this case, women of the island. So hey, if you want to learn about ghosts and women at Vancouver Island, four excellent books. In future episodes, I might tell you a bit more about history and places I've been to in the island. I've been to lots, and I started going here back in the 1970s when I had relatives and my grandparents lived in Lanceville. So I love this place, and I'm here for a while. Thank you. Have a good day. Vancouver Island. Yay.